<laughs> so, I don't think this problem is as just as as hard as you think. Okay. I I mean we have I think there are multiple solutions in the world. I don't think we have, we have not yet seen a decentralized uh, one. I totally agree. I too. think that's what Scott was hoping. Yeah, I think for practically um, a lot of these systems, even if you build them decentralized, you end up with these super nodes that are adding efficiency to it. They naturally, you know, the same thing with like um, you have these friends who know everybody, um, and it somehow goes through them. That's where the vouching comes from. And the decentralized system becomes far more centralized because of the natural emergence of those super nodes. So I think it might not be as bad as it sounds as watching us. But that's, I mean, like, like for example, uh, yeah. if you have a product that's really recommended on one point, you probably are going to trust it. Yeah. Even if your relationship to, you know, Dr. Open, the light is very, very weak. Mm -hmm. So I think there is this true. It's still not centralized, it just has kind of super nodes. So the the process of vouching or the algorithm right. is still is still decentralized. Exactly. And the nodes can over time become more important than that's important. So I think the question then is, you know, what is this graph though? Like when you say you trust something that you see on Boing Boing, mm -hmm. what where is that connection between you and Boing? Uh, well, uh, the way I like, I like to do this, I like to have a book on horizontal light and Facebook light, and not in Facebook, but on my personal side. Ah, okay. Can we just move the whole group from that room to this place? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your assignment is to go find somebody else. <laughs> uh, well, we need to find, uh, what's his name, Scott? <laughs> I'm sure Scott will be in here as soon as he finishes writing down all the notes. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, um, so. See, the problem I have with the centralized thing is that you pick some centralized nodes and you cannot really have a different thing. Uh, except for some behind the back doors kind of process. Yeah, so um, yeah, so there are, I mean, we're all here because we, we know lots of drawbacks from centralized stuff. But that doesn't mean that uh, if you start with a decentralized architecture, you're not going to end up with a system that looks rather centralized. That you can yeah, it's centralized-ish, which is definitely different than centralized. Uh, yeah, like that. But we don't even have, yeah, you know, we don't even yet have an example of this kind of thing that is that has super you know, much less is like, yes, strictly. I have one. Well, you <laughs> XMPP, uh, large scale. Uh, yes, okay. Google we'll Talk. Yeah. Google right. Talk. Yeah. What? Exactly. What does he say? Exactly. Well, no, it wasn't decentralized, though. I mean, if you're, you're saying Google Talk. No, I'm saying, no, no, oh, I'm sorry. I'm saying exactly to it, like, was. Oh, Jesus. As in, <laughs> like, like, it was the largest node, and then, you know, no one noticed when it disappeared. I mean, maybe that doesn't count because people didn't, like, know they were using XMPP. I don't but, like, even whether they knew. It was so, the, the context was um, trust systems, you know. Um, um, the, I see. Okay. Yeah, so we I'm, have I'm seen, context. Yeah, that's okay. So CAs. Mm -hmm. Or databases of like you know malware that kind of thing. Um, uh, just, no, I don't think it's enough. Uh, they have largely worked for decades. They have small, small targeted problems. I mean, so we we all read the articles about you know one little one's compromised and you know sure there are problems, but nothing's perfect. And I mean, pretty damn no, functional no. for a long, long time. Okay, I don't know what trust you put in the CEA, but the only thing that matters to me about this whole infrastructure is whether or not there's a treasure. The fact that somebody vouches for a domain that means nothing to me. Sure. Uh, so, 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 in other words, if this were completely compromised, okay, or not, it makes no difference to me because I'm not paying any attention well, to what no, who the voucher is. No, that's not true. It's both on the wire encryption and server verification. You also absolutely care that you see the green padlock and when you're logging to Google, I don't want So, so you, I'm sure you use some third party services where when it's sending your credits or you're getting something, you care that you use that. Well, see, yeah, I, I mean, it's I, not just that the bits on the wire are encrypted. If you're sending to a bad guy, it doesn't matter. Uh, yes, but, but, but my personal, okay, personally, I put no confidence in whether or not Larry Sun says this is the entity that I think you communicate with. This personally, that I'm just not making an assumption. But there okay. is. It, no, I have to take a leap of faith, right? Um, but I would, the way I approach it is I take a leap of faith instead of taking a leap of faith in a third party that I have no particular okay. trusted. The other, the other thing there would be you are very, very unusual. 
But what I would like, what I would like to do, <laughs> I'd like to basically know that I'm communicating with the same energy that I communicated with um, last time. As so, a, so, so, for example, right? If I decide that I'm going to sign up for some kind of website, okay, um, then whether or not yeah. they have a DNS certificate from somebody it makes very little sense yeah. to me, right? Yeah. I decide I'm going to have some interaction with them, and then I decide I would like to know is it the same one? Now, of course, the way the certain infrastructure works is that. Uh, there is no way of pinning the actual key, yeah. which is sort of undermining this whole idea. <laughs> but, but I'd like to just have the same part. I, anyway, I hear you. Like we were describing trust and perfuse. Yes, as I say, we were big. It's just a much narrower use case. It, it solves, is it the same person last time? It does not solve where they trust. Personally, if you, for example, said, I like this service and I've taken it for five years, then I would take your recommendation over Versa any time. Sure, we just have, there is nothing that does that. That's what I'm like at large scale. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that is the unsolved problem. There, we have not yet seen a decentralized anything at truly large scale. But it's easy. I don't even need a lot large scale in this particular case. Okay. Because I go to your website and you go, and go like, I have been using this thing and this is really cool. If you at the same time were able to say, and this is the common key of the energy I'm communicating with, yes. and I could yes. insert it as part of me following the hyperlink, yes. then we have that introduction yeah. problem. Mm, you're fine. <laughs> you don't need that. You don't need the large scale. Scott. Yeah. But yep. Shall we anyway. talk about the Yeah, so who so O status or analytics or both? Who's here for what? O status. O status. O status. Yeah. Okay. Uh if you want to do something else for half hour or you want to hang out. No, no, no. Okay. Um so who you know, who has have you all three used an O status site before? I can uh, assume all of you have no. I mean I've used an O status okay. site, but administrator like, I'm, I'm using yeah, I run a method on this. Okay. O status codes. Cool. Okay. Uh neither of you have written much O status code or some? No. Okay. So I'll to skip the protocol. Okay. Um, like, so uh, do I mean first question would be do we care about O status? Should we instead just do activity pub or neither? So I would I would activity pub. So we uh, activity pub. It used to be activity yeah. pub. Okay. okay, that's what you're thinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. It would make sense to me to do activity pub no matter what, right? Because yeah. that's like it's supposed to be a thing in the future. So the the like I, I guess a, a, like the position of the working group is that. O status is like legacy, basically. Sure. And act and like and it's you're supposed to use activity code instead. Yeah. The so the problem though is prioritizing limited developer time. Sure. Absolutely. Time. Yeah. I, I mean I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying uh uh we should do O status because it's legacy. I'm just saying like uh you are supposed to use activity pub, and yep. so it would make sense to me to like Okay. That's fair. Do that. All right. Uh I'll phone me. So Etherpad, uh, slash O status bridge. Okay. Uh, so, so we can do both. So we, if we, if we all like it and we wanted to jump into implementation, we can, you know, the next step would be a list of the things we need to build and you know, what we have and what we don't. Um, do we want to talk about anything higher level or meta in terms of connecting IndieWeb to activity pub or O status or both? Or are we all on board and ready to jump straight in? One thing that would that I think would really help, so one thing I would I would really like to see is a, a um, micropub to uh, activity pub bridge. So like you, you would sign into um, you know, it like, runs at some domain name. You sign into the domain name with your activity pub ID, and then you can you can basically use a micropub. Um, you can you can use it as a as a micropub um, okay. and, and it will be translated. That seems like what, what exactly is the overlap there? What what what? what? Well, you, have a bridge. you can all bridge things that are more or less the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what what? I, I I don't know either of them well enough to ever know what the what the so, overlap is and what's not. So clients basically versus server. Right. Yeah. So um, uh, micropub is, you know, micropub. Okay, micropub like 
it, it's pretty simple. It's just essentially like a client and server API. So it lets uh, a MicroPub client can can uh, post a note to like a MicroPub server, and then it will like show up, right? Uh, and that can be the analytics and yes, can yeah. get combined. Yeah, we merged and we married, and I'm about to have to debate the key. Okay, great. I'm about to log in. Cool. <laughs> totally unrelated, but we're doing it together. All right. Great. So, um, uh, they're they pretty similar. Like, there, there are no real semantic differences. It's okay. just so like. The payload is unstructured in both cases. Say again? The payload is unstructured in both cases. Um, what do you mean by unstructured? As in, so, so, if I submit something. Okay. Um, is the is is, is is it can it be any uh, any uh, kind of payload as in text and in my type this that and the other, or is there a structure as well? Uh, there's structure as in yeah. There's both like you can type it every text and content. You know, but like micro, for example, you you you, know, you can give it a location, a photo, a uh, yes. okay, other stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can be both similar. Yeah. And that they sort of map onto each other, or uh, they they map pretty closely. I think that, they yeah, that would be very manageable service. Yeah, it would be it would be work. extremely straightforward. Yeah. yeah, I mean, really, like, like, uh, I mean, they're designed for the same things, right? Like, I mean, if you post a note uh, via like a microphone client, um, that translates directly into an activity pub object that says like, you know, AJ posts a note. Like, uh, it's it's. So where are the where are the different? Uh, so activity pub is the activity streams <laughs> world. Micropub is the micro format world. That's basically like, that's oversimplified. Yeah, that's that seems right to me. Right. Yeah, nothing but the same. And so the part I'm interested in is the kind of other side of the server the server. Yeah. So yeah, so you know, turning any websites into kind of federatable. Something that does seem to be solved, ish, is um, well, a microformats too in in federated networks, which is awesome. Like it's phenomenal. So I think like well, it's specific implementations, right? It's not required. It's, it's not required, but I mean, in like in in terms of specs, like you, it's like nothing you can expect. But like in terms of implementations, like all the major implementations except for diaspora. Have um, well, two markup now. So notably, so here, I'll put social um, Mastodon. Wait, uh, there's a wiki page on this. Um, I, ju I just had it open. Uh, it was mentioned. It was mentioned during the keynote, right? Yeah, well, those are the two I can think of. Mastodon and social. Uh, here we go. Uh, I'll put it in the Etherpad. And you have network. Yep. Yeah. And so, so what are you supposed to do? Or? Uh, I mean, um, Mastodon can be social. Pump.io supports um, microformats too. Uh, known obviously does. Oh, no, yes. no, okay. So, yeah, anyway. uh, okay, so those Hubzilla, Rendica. Upcoming.org, which I haven't heard of. Post active. Okay, cool. So that's nice. So we've been restricted yeah. just the ones that serve them. I've, so just, then I've just been hacked by Chromecast. Oh, yeah. I am um, connected to the Xfinity Wi Fi. And I'm going to come to IO mm -hmm. and I'm getting a Comcast overlay. Uh, it's high seeming to download a Comcast security application. Really? It just went away, but that's what just happened. That's what the heck that Comcast is has a history really of injecting HTML. Yeah. Into yeah I, so, sorry, I get everybody off subject, but I figured you actually might want to know. I wish I was going to HTTPS. Okay, so. So that's good. So we maybe, if we assume that, then you know, what are the other parts we need? Um, we need to convert web entrance to salmon slaps and back. Um, well, it depends. That depends more on. Hmm. I think uh, mentions. 
Like, is that the same as being a notification mechanism? I right? believe so for O status. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. So yeah. So. So, uh, so for O status, yes. For Activity Hub, it is. Um, no, it's not. It's not LVN. It's um, or I think. Hold on. Let me look at this back. Uh, it's not it's not LDN, but it has like a relationship to LDN okay. because so activity pub is is based on JSON LD, which is mm, linked okay. data, right? Okay. Um, so you can do that, but basically the the way that you um, notify about a mention is you create uh, a object of type mention and then distribute it to. Well, what's so distribute? What do you mean by distribute? To what? So in the same way you distribute any other object. So web sub. Not web sub. Um, it's, it's, it, it's basically just a post. So each in, a, in activity pub, um, each actor has a um, outbox and an inbox. Those are URLs associated with the profile, and um, the inbox it will reading the inbox will return like a stream of of, uh, I'm going to get these mixed up, but reading the inbox, if, if, you, if you read your own inbox, you get a stream of objects that have been sent to you. But that's client server, so the server is server. So I mentioned someone. So if you <coughs> post to someone else's inbox, or if your server posts to someone else's inbox, that's distribution. Right, but right. Like, under cover, what is it doing? It's an HTTP post. Post to and the endpoint, always to the server. Right, and so what is, so it's some, some like, Protocol, like what what are the program? It's, how do I? What well, all that it's doing is so. All that all that activity pub is is it's just you have you have these activity streams objects. Actor does some verb to something, right? And all that it is 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 exchange. So you just need the URL and then the payload is standardized. Like the JSON always looks the same and has the yeah. same properties for like actor, target, objects, and. So it is is not a link on the data notification. It's an activity pub. Thing. It's activity pub. It's activity pub. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, uh, okay. Um, and then so discovery. So you mention someone new or you post to someone new. Like yeah. no status is web finger. According according to the spec, it overlaps with the link data notification specification, but you don't need to like worry about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how about discovery. Dis uh, what do you mean discovery? Of a of a user. So I, I mentioned so yeah, how do you get to those endpoint URL? How do you how do you find out about those inbox outbox so, Okay, so if you mention a user, you already know if you if you if you're saying if you mention a user, how do you get to their outbox? Yeah, and how do you find the user? So or like the if, user's resources. So if you mention a user, um, you're already that's explicitly encoded into the object. So you're saying like an actor in activity pub is a URL that will that when you when you do a get request on that URL, it will return the actor's object. And so the, okay, oh, okay, so you assume it's just HTTP get and it returns the JSON LD and that describes the person. Right. So okay. you so I then see something is like URL. Um, uh, no, let me for project. So I project. So your identity is a URL. Your identity is a URL. Okay. Yeah. And but this is only here. Um, well, no, really. Read the JSON yeah. if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just thinking you could do a put a put a whatever um, head on it. I mean, you could do uh, content negotiation. Yes, yeah. yeah. which seems like an ongoing. Then that's thing to do that's yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Is you're oh, supposed okay. to do content negotiation. Right. Um, if you if, like, if you get a request for like activity plus JSON, then you return the object and, and yeah. you that's return the HTML. Yes. I think you don't have to, but like that's the way you're supposed to. So then, so sorry, O status uses. Both SAM and slash and plus and for different kinds of notifications. Activity Pub uses Activity Pub for both of them. Say that again. So, so what you know status? Do we know which notifications happen over SAM and which happen over plus and plus and plus? Uh, I can go back and read this back. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I get these mixed up because I haven't worked in O status. So I believe that salmon. Okay, so salmon is um, basically a it's it's sort of like web mention in yeah. that um, it, it's like I'm more familiar with salmon, I guess. Yeah, if you if you distribute this like post, 
um, to like however that's encoded to somewhere else, and then in the somewhere else, someone comments on it. How does that comment make it back to the original like um, location that the post came from? Right. Right. So then pubs up hubbub. Pubs up hubbub. I think is basically, uh, and I could be wrong, but I believe it's just like. Basically, when you follow someone, then that's that's done with pub, 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 sub, pub, pub. So like original posts, right. original not comments, but like original right. posts are are promulgated. And then an activity pub. Uh, so what activity pub uses JSON LD? Yeah. It also uses activity stream too. Yes. And are they complex of JSON LD as the serialization yeah. of activity stream too? No, no. <laughs> uh, it is. Sorry. Kind of. Um, I'm, well, I, you know, so Activity Streams 2 is basically built on JSON LD. I, I think it might be possible to serialize it as XML, but like no one would ever do that okay. in a million years. So JSON LD is like the very, so like, most simple explanation for JSON LD is basically it just has uh, a, a few certain uh, properties, like, uh, that usually start with an at, like an at context and an at type to basically just give you meta information about that object. Mm -hmm. And you can put that in any JSON object and then it's automatically JSON ID. So it's really mm -hmm. just JSON with metadata sure. that you have to know about and manually, like, you know, there's nothing special about it. So, 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 so really, I would really start that really probably. You use that too. JSON LD yes. is a little like JSON LD yeah. is like you don't have to worry about it in order to understand the spec. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's I mean if you really want to get into it, like it's it's comparable ish to RDF. Yep. But yep. I mean it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so then in the other pad I have a list of things, like very high level things that we need to translate for each of them, for each of these. Uh, so bridging OSAS to US, bridging activity pub to US. Uh, you all wouldn't mind taking a look. It's too high level, but it's a star. Uh, I would put it up here in the panel. I um I can in just a minute. Um yeah. I just installed video a second. Oh, it's just the other side. Oh, you got it. Yeah. So we can, uh, um, thank you all, appreciate it. Uh, we can include this in a minute and talk about analytics maybe, but uh, it's a great start. I can also show an example of what an activation topic looks like. Yeah, I've seen Lots of that size. Yeah, that's, that's a day time of Okay. Uh, and so then there's an interesting kind of product regret stuff. Like you would have this proxy would be in like user URL would call use this proxy. It would be like free.com slash and then yeah, their site so or something. It's fine. So my my in, in terms of implementing like if you were to represent web mention in in uh If you were to represent web mention in, in activity prep land, my naive solution would be I would just turn web mention into an into a mention object. But I don't know if that would work because it might require like it, semantically you would expect the, the URL that it was from to resolve to content negotiate into a Yeah, well so I think the URLs on both sides, I mean I'm guessing the OSAS or Activity Club people both you know, like need to see the URLs on this proxy. Any web people need to see the URLs on this proxy and it translates each way. And so web mentions, you know, translating those exactly based on the, the microformats too. We would look at whether it's a like or a reply or an right. HTTP or something right. and translate that. So that's that's this little UX warts that I don't know if there's any good solution so for infringement. You no, know, that's actually not a well, okay. Hmm. So there's there is the UX ward of like you get the wrong URL potentially. The real problem is like okay, so if I was to sketch out um yes, I was thinking. Um someone are there yeah, totally for that. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So, it's not working yet. All right. Whatever. So, let's say, um, like, any website. Uh, and then here's like an activity server, right? We need something in the middle here. So, I can imagine. Hmm. So there, there are a couple interactions here, right? One is Indie Webcam mentioned, uh, let's put this in the color. If, so the Indie Web site mentions a post in Activity Pub Land, mm -hmm. right? Another is someone in Activity Pub Land is in theory going to mention Someone somehow, sure. right? You seem mentioned what exactly you're saying. Uh, I don't know. Exactly. Literally, like a Twitter app mentioned, for example, yeah, like say a, you're like just like mentioning their user directly. Like reference yeah. to this is just something that the human person can see that there's no protocol involved in what you draw here. Yeah, this is just the human interaction. Oh, okay. So, like, that was <laughs> Yeah, so under the hood, when this is going to happen, right, it's going to want a web mentioned endpoint. And so what does that result to? It seems like uh, if I was I think I think the best way to do this is to have like just something in the middle. It has to be, yeah. The, yeah, it can so you can have this be separate, right? Yeah. This can be run by a third party or the same person that runs this or something like that, right? And I think that, also right. want the user um yeah. Uh, profile endpoint as well, so that other people can actually see like who that is. Wait, say, say that again. Um, like you, I think you also want the user profile URL or web thing or whatever, um, so that the other people looking at the post can actually see what the name refers to. Yeah. So my, I was assuming that the profile, the HTML on this, would be marked up with that too. Oh. Because I don't think there's any. So you have you to can't do that with like. I mean, if you were, you could have the bridge present something marked up that way, but like then you would get really ugly URLs. Well, but that's what I was saying. So we actually do, we already do this kind of in the middle bridge between Indie Web Camp and social networks. And it does sure. exactly this. Everything goes through, including translating the content and presenting and everything. And so, right. yeah. And, but the, I mean, so the one when I think about microformats is you can say, here's the canonical URL, and it doesn't have to be the URL that's served at. Like, your URL says, here's the actual URL. So the, in the oh world yeah, the okay, end. sure. So, I mean, but you would still have to link to the thing on the bridge. Instead oh yeah, the the coming in with the endpoints are all on the bridge. Uh, you just hope and you just try to use as much uh, UX nicety as you can to say, you know, the real end URLs are here and here. We're just kind of right. You know, well, but so I, it seems to me that like. Like what? What? What the activity? What the? What the activity screens people are not going to want to do is implement a bunch of other protocols. Microformat two is not that difficult. It's just marking up your HTML, and you yeah. probably content negotiate anyway because you're all you're already wanting web UI. But I was already assuming we don't get any we don't get any implementation from any of the actually proper indie web stuff. I guess it's all it's all this bridge in the middle. Um, so I think it would help me to go one level down and figure out how the protocol actually works. <laughs> yeah, and so this was uh, yeah, the the list is okay. Which what are all the different protocol translations we have to do? And this is a good so first. There's, step. You know, there's, there's a discovery part to this, right? Mm -hmm. This guy would you know that this thing exists. Yeah, you that all in a bold box likewise, and so you've got to have something that points over there and say, talk to me as a proxy. Yes, again, you and this is where the this is the main UX war. Like the discovery stuff, you have to type in the the bridge in. Maybe you do that once or once per follow instead of kind of once per post, ideally. But right. yeah, you have some of that. You uh, have to, it seems like you have to have support in whatever editing UI you were using if you were to put everything in the bridge, right? Well, no, not necessarily. You just you have these kind of wrapped URLs, right? That that have the bridge as like they're served by the bridge. But then the bridge right. knows to go fetch and translate, just right? Just like append the like, pretend the bridge URL. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's not pretty, but I mean, if you if you have a but decent client, like that's the use of here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're at half of our time. If we want to talk about analytics, so this is a good start. We have this good list. If you all wouldn't mind checking out the other part of that list, we can switch to analytics, or we can do more of this. Um, what do you all feel like talking about? Well, I feel kind of lost in this. So. Sure. What's the ether? Um, uh, uh, that's bridge. But so yeah, we do so analytics. Here's, here's a question that I have. Uh, I think there's two ways of uh, approaching all these kinds of things. One of them is just to have Ryan here just add more and more code to bridge. You know, every time there's a mess <laughs> thing here that needs to get bridged, just he does it and we're fine. Right. Well, we, oh, that was good. Yeah, that, that's one way of doing that. Um, but is there any other way of making this actually work? <laughs> yeah, you get the endpoints to input uh, it yeah. themselves. So, so if so everyone would just want me to so use web thing here. Here. <laughs> What I'm imagining here is that like the there would be this would this would require some cooperation from the activity publication, but you still shove most of the complexity into the bridge because the bridge does all the translating, and all you have to do at the, at the activity pub server is just serve your HTML with like a link tag that that you can find the bridge. So you can find the web the web engine endpoint on the bridge, and that's really all you need to do, I think. Yeah. So the long pull there is. Adoption. We can go if the, the bridge only implementation. We can go right in with like so no adoption. Running. That's so, true. But I so this bridge you could do one of two things. It can be either basically some kind of other server, or it can be essentially another endpoint in some in this URL space. Right. Yeah, a little library that gets sure. added. You know, another PHP strip yeah. and uh, one additional URL. Yeah, that's not much harder though because now you need a version with it for each language yeah. and yeah. again you're pushing you have to push it up into each implementation. Well it's not obviously different like I mean, you know, if somebody so, had a business model for that. That is one thing. Well, I, I think we're I think we're what we're really discussing here is we're, we're we have a scale, right? And on one end is like uh work. And on the other end is like uh, bad UX, right? Does that seem right to everyone? Because so like if you put everything in the bridge, that would require no work for activity pub implementers. Mm -hmm. But it has terrible UX because you have to it's not ideal link to the bridge. I think much of it your reasonable CMS, etc. or activity pub instances will hide. So you'll you'll see the bad UX stuff. It's, it's usable. I don't think it's work. I think it's driving adoption, and you know, it's, it may not take much work to get this into Mastodon, Google, social, etc. But will they? Is a totally separate question. Uh, right. Yeah. So I mean, driving I, adoption. I, I think, but but I think like this is simple enough that 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 I I think it's like if you if you have this web engine endpoint thing in in the activity level implementation, I think that's simple enough that it, that you can make a case because like it, it's not that much harder than than my performance markup. Well, channel admin, it's right? Just, I mean, if you told them, oh no, add this one interoperating thing, it's simple. Is he going to come back to you and say, oh, if it's simple, then okay, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I think he would say yes to this proposal because the 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 problem that he was trying to like not have. Is trying to maintain everything in the same code base. Here, this is just a single config option. Like so, like he asked about, like I put a change log entry in the in the change log about, like, you know, we do my perform we do, we have like you have interoperability now, um, by which I meant my performance. Mm -hmm. And he was like, what is this? And I was like, it's just classes in the HTML. And he's like, whatever. So yeah, I mean, somewhat. The, the other problem is it's it's a moving target. You you then have to catch every new implementation and commit them every single time. But that's so, true. What's missing from like for example sending is it mostly the web mentions that are missing? So and because the markup is the easy part, right? Anyone can markup. just mark up their stream like and then you again the difficulty I think is not the work the implementation work, it's driving the adoption with every single implementation. Yeah, yeah but to drive, if it's just the web mention, that's also easy to implement. Again, okay, what did I just say? No, it's right. not the work. It's convincing maintainers to merge your patch. And that's yeah, every single one, right? right. 
but that's no it's, part. But it's not that many. Like for like most of the Fediverse is just like two implementations. Well, but I think we want little ones. Yeah, we yeah. want more implementations. Sure. It doesn't scale. And new ones in the future will, will go maybe in what spec. They won't also so, realize, oh, I also need to do a thing. There's no way of doing this. Our large does more or less the same thing, just drop one part of them. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that, serious. that argument. Uh, I know you're serious, but that argument goes back to like 2014. It's not. Well, but see, see, there is there's there's lots of protocols which where you really say there oh, there's overlap, but there's this entire part over here that we can't cover that's over there. But that's not what I just heard. But it's too political. It's, it's not. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like I I agree with you in an ideal world, but it's but, so not. But the question is, you know, what's the objective here? Okay. If your objective is to basically own the famous protocol, that's fine saying personally, I don't care about that. Uh, and the question is, if there's something useful from our users, then we really don't care about the protocol. But, but you're but preaching the choir. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, yeah. Because, because people, that, that argument assumes that, first of all, that, that argument assumes that people make the same, the, <laughs> like, the same technical trade-offs, right? But the, the and, and and it assumes that like so the, the problem here is that there are people who think that activity pub is better like I, I don't I think they're both pretty good but like there are there are people who think that this approach doesn't make sense and activity pub is the right way technically to go and same on the indie webcam side and the and the other problem is that like there's just there's just no one like. The other thing that your the argument you just made assumes is that we are all logical creatures who will just do the right thing. Right. So, uh, <laughs> like, uh, there's, I, I, there's I, I, an I, emotional I, problem, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I, so I understand in, in general, yeah. but this is this seems to be a rather peculiar case because I did not hear or some, and I don't know enough about either of this stuff to really be able to tell, but I didn't hear. But you know, there's this thing that we can do over here, which is never going to translate over there. But I didn't hear that. But that's the meaning of political. We are agreeing with you. It's not a parody mismatch of functionality. It's not a rational difference. It is political. So, so yes, and it, it doesn't matter because it's the wrong argument. Yeah. Um, so the other, I mean, the other problem is that both of the like both the activity streams and the indie web have very like large established communities. Right. Yeah. So uh, it is my experience that the more code like this you have in the large state distributed system, the less likely it's going to be level one. Yeah. yeah I, I agree. But I mean, it's kind of thing it doesn't work so well in theory, but does in practice. It, it, it does, you know, I've, I've spent in the earlier months, I've spent a little bit of time there, so we attempt to bridge one thing to the other. And my experience is generally that you get the data and go further. Because by the time you think you're about to release this in something that supports somebody changed something somewhere and you're back in that file. Oh yeah. It is it is definitely making it burden. And, and that's just a one to one relationship. You know, if this is an end to end relationship. Hey, no, it's not. It's a one to one or one to, I mean but I'm not bridging I'm not bridging any or we're not bridging any web to every single implementation, every single user. It's two of sets. Two activities. So end implementation of course that's yeah. You know, I mean that's two of sets. The implementation as well. Oh, well, so but if you go with the theory, this no, approach, in theory, they yeah. to every. Yeah. Um, right. yeah, it, yeah, it is a maintenance, an ongoing maintenance for it. Yeah, I've shipped this, it's doable. <laughs> it's not pretty, and it is a maintenance for it, but it's doable. Um, yeah, it takes some work. Uh, I don't know. So, so you, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of playing this from a slightly you know, higher, 100,000 foot level. Right. The, I, I, I totally understand this discussion from head to head, but doing all of this in, you know, and the board and forth like, can accomplish good things for users, you know, uh, which will which will cost a certain amount of time and energy and whatever it is, right? How far will this go though? And if one had spent the same amount of effort in some other way, would that get to the same place, not as far, faster, you know, what the things are? And practically speaking, I think, um, you know, to your point about decentralized networks, we have uh, not ever seen a decentralized network that is multi-protocol and really heterogeneous. That's really hard. You know, the only, the only heterogeneous network that we sort of know are things like um, uh, HTTP and the phone network and so forth that are all based on the same things here. They're not different ones. Yeah, but uh, there is HTTP and the web 
And it's it's not better it's, 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 I mean, it's that. It's, 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 the point is, it doesn't work that way. No, but I mean, every, everything's marked up differently, and there are different APIs on top, and a lot of a lot of programs consume the uh, like multiple and uh, kind of everything of kind of works. Of the, of the, of the, yeah, yeah. The web, but the, the basic infrastructure, right, where we have a zillion different web servers, basically a zillion different browsers interacting yeah, on an HTTP level, that it works because they're all HTTP, and there's like only two words <laughs> or something. Right. Um, it, it could have been that back in the day somebody could have said it. That's, I mean, they tried it. HTTP and Gopher and you know all of these other things used to be in the browsers. Um, we would never have gotten the web to where we got it. And, right. It's absolutely not ideal. I mean, I definitely view any kind of bridge like this as as a temporary hack. I mean, bridging is absolutely a temporary hack. It's a long-term temporary hack. But this is the, it has a very good justification because you know that you do not get the cooperation from the US. This is just simply a given. And not any, I think this is good because the but commercial incentives are in a way that we want to do this. Um, this is a little bit. But no, no, but the, 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 what you just said is we know we won't get the cooperation, right? It's the same thing here. It's just that instead of commercial interests, it's people's vested emotional interests in both of these communities. Like, like the fact that they're large and well established, and there are too many people. Like, personally, I uh, rather like the egos of a few dozen um, beats than a uh, hundred uh, billion dollars of market cap. Yeah, and we can do both. You know, like I would love to see or work with someone go fight that fight in the WPC you know, social web uh, working group, etc. Et it's on me. This is so. I mean, uh, like. My understanding, I haven't been a member of the working group for very long, only since really like March. But my, my understanding is that, I mean, this fight goes back to like 2013, like since the working group began in like 2013, 2014. Like, yeah. That's not about the working group, it's about the implementers in the end. Uh, no, I think it's the standards communities. Yeah. It's usually the standards people working with. Yeah. The implementers ultimately want to deliver value to the users, and they don't care what they're but do you, yeah, but you, 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 you think you, I would say this isn't even properly standardized and has the most users right now out of all of them. Like, God, you can didn't think about like uh, which which uh, what does the social uh, working group say? He just went and found like basically said I want my stuff to work with new social, um, and that was his decision. So I think that's the problem. If anything, it may just be because it's older, not because it's yeah, because it was better. there and people were already using it. So yep. not because like some working group standardized it. Yeah, this all sounds like uh, you know RSS versus Adam. <laughs> Well, there's also the web versus JSON, right? I mean, it's it's a bit different. One is human readable, like there's the human renderable and the like machine network that we have to transform. Like, well, there's the web people on the one side, and then the like JSON and uh, people on the other side, and that's a big difference. Well, yeah, many. Like, are, and that's what matters. Many people find it very uh, um, ugly to like publish HTML for something that it's it's, it's meant to just be machine readable and nothing else. Yeah, I mean, I personally, I see like, I mean, I see benefits for both of these. Like, any webcam stuff is is um, it makes it easier to incrementally adopt, but at the same time, like, uh, Activity Pub is it's nice to have structure. Like it's it's not it's very, it's actually a relatively simple model and once you have the core protocol all of a sudden you can do all of this stuff right like I mean implementing RSVPs uh, in in an activity hub implementation is a non-issue because once you have the core protocol you automatically yeah have but you can say the exact same thing about microformats too right. It's structure, uh, it's easy to go, you throw in, it's, it's another class, I mean, it's, it's the same, it's, it's, the, it's very, very similar. No, but, well, okay, so, it, sure, I, uh, I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're this is not an yeah. important discussion to have, like, I, I don't know. So what, what's the, what discussion should we have, though? Like, can what, what can I, we I have like after this? I mean, I, I, should the bridge be entirely standalone? Well, or I, I would like to get back to the technical discussion of how this works. Sure. Yeah. yeah. If that's okay. Totally. Okay. The question I have is, 
if if we were to give both options, yeah. of how complex would the code be? Yeah, no. Because totally it doable. seems like a lot of yeah, like like um, the the core part of this bridge is like the translation and, and that kind of thing, and like receiving web engines and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and and really sort of like the the external interfaces would have to be swapped out, but you know, the core would remain the same. And so we could we could yep. write a standalone bridge and then add in the option to, oh, and by the way, if the implementation does this extra thing, then everything will be better, right? Yep. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm taking notes. Um, yeah, yeah, totally doable. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, so we... So it seems like that would okay. That 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 mostly um, can can resolve like any webcam site links to mentions whatever in a Kimmy pub actor. And it, maybe both. Maybe both. Um, if we say the the little extra help we would depend on from any websites or actually other sites is to you know, add a couple link rails that point to the, the bridge. Then you maybe get better UX. Right? Similar either way, right? Because the discovery is maybe similar. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it could be nice. Uh, is, there kind of catch? is it possible to insert a bridge without making code changes either? Yes. Yes. With, with with your UX. UX. So, yeah, so how does it work then? I basically do what? I'm, I commit. So, okay, so let's say that you have, like, there's uh, no, no A on the activity code server, right? You post a mention of no A uh, on, you on your in your website. website. Yeah, but you proclaim to this, but you prefix the URL with the bridge URL, and then your web engine gets sent to the bridge, and the bridge can translate it and, and um, send an activity stream object into the activity code network. Then the bridge also has to pretend to be the discovery kind of thingy. It has to pretend to be oh, yes. the activity right, code. So it has to be essentially yes, a full impersonation of this thing here. Yeah, um, so in the so other part, the part, part, either way, point, yeah. see an actor. Yeah. And any web clients see like this seems like a lot more work than adding a loop. Although it's got to do the impersonation either way. Yeah. I mean so, that is what it is. Yeah. So in in if you the, the proposal is that if you add this web engine endpoint, all that that does is it eliminates the need to prefix yes. the the bridge URL. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all oh, absolutely not ideal. Bridge is absolutely a temporary hack, but yeah, these are temporary hacks on the order of five to ten years, if not longer. So, mm, that's what it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's doable. Okay. So, if an activity club actor mentions a web URL, how would that work? So, you, in a pure bridge sense, again, it's got to be the wrapper URL, and then right. The web homepage or something. That seems that seems relatively easy to do, right? Uh, yeah. In the other sense, I mean, is there so for the discovery for activity pub? Is it? It's not Webfinger. It's you. Mm, is there a way to put in a link rel or something that says like I'm here, but my representative actor object is over here on this other side? Right. Um, that is a good question. Yeah, but, uh, can you repeat the question? Uh, discovery. Can you delegate? Delegate. Uh, I don't think so. Because oh. it's just a single direct to get. Could you? It would seem. You know, it seems to me like it would. Uh, okay. One. One. One possible solution to this is. Um, is just have activity pub implementations do 
outbound web engine, which is, is an ideal for the reasons we have discussed before, but it's similar to microformats too in that you don't have to do all this, you don't have to deal with translations and all of that. It's just like a an, an little extra step that you do at the end. Yeah. Not ideal, obviously, but. The web mention I don't think is the hard part because the bridge can also send the web mention. That's, anyone can send the web mention if, if a link exists. I think uh, like an HTML link, uh, if that exists. Um, the, more, the more interesting part is, okay. Can I pause for a second? Yeah. Can I close this door? Because sure. I'm getting sure. distracted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. We'll uh, put it in this in a minute. Okay. It's more the key. Can I give you uh, two minutes to do summary statements? Sure. Uh, I'm going to put them in the at the bottom. Tell them to you or? No, like talk them out loud. Like go around one at a time. Yeah, okay. Um, 30 seconds each. You got four sure. Minutes. We got a few minutes. Let's try to finish this and then we'll do summary. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So if an activity pub, you, pub user wants to mention and any web. The alternatives are so one, they say like bridge slash any website, and we can make that work. Mm -hmm. If they you know, if they link to the any website directly, is there any way that we can get Activity Pub to go like it'll go what, make a get and expect the actor JSON blob? Is that right? You do content negotiation? Content negotiation, yeah. You know, actually, could, wait, hold on. Okay, actually, if you, uh, okay, this may may not work. So I haven't thought it all the way through. Right. Frankly, I'm, I got like very little sleep last night. I, I, I got home early from like uh, the, like the, the restaurant, and then I was like, I should go to bed, and then I wrote a website and stuff. Uh, <laughs> off and on again. Um, uh, you could, I think. Maybe you could just have like a static JSON file in like uh, in that would that would be served at the root of the domain. Sure. And that could delegate. Oh. So okay. if so if your server content negotiated properly, it would serve yeah. the static JSON file, and your inbox and outbox could point to a bridge. Yeah, so then we're just... That's kind of what yeah. webfinger is for. It is, it's yeah. kind of what webfinger yeah. is Yeah, I mean, you just have a well-known URL, and then you put uh, a JSON in there that points to resources, like, for example, an inbox and an outbox. Yes, webfinger is the old, the old, um, that this yeah. is new hotness, but it's the same. So, yeah. the re yeah, so the reason that webfinger is, is no longer in vogue is because, uh, uh, like, if you want to have more than one social application on the same domain, not subdomain, but, like, yeah. domain, uh, you're screwed Some because our what? Right? Both of them can't do it. Because both of them can't own .dot No, but you can you can put any of those. Uh, uh, you, you um, I mean, I can show you. Um, you you can put any of those applications in the same webfinger. Oh, you mean you, they can't serve the webfinger? Which one? Yeah, serves. which one serves the webfinger? Right. Yeah, right. The server. If you run those on the same domain, then as a server operator, you have to publish that web finger and just put the various things okay, in there. Yeah. It's not but that it, difficult. But it only works globally. You know, you cannot select it with others. Just if you have a multi-user application. Yeah, it's fine. So you can look. You can ask the web finger, like, give me the indie web, give me the host data, give me the remote storage, give me anything. Except uh, that one of your users doesn't actually do that. I know the server operator does it for its it, users. Yes, if one of the users on that server doesn't do one of those protocols for whatever reason. Okay, it, it's a global setting the figure. It applies to all users on the, on the domain. No, you can uh, you so can uh, no you can ask per user and you can give a four four or like uh, leave out the entries for that user you for that service. That, yeah, but yeah. it doesn't exist for the user. You publish that this kind of service exists, but then it actually doesn't because this user doesn't want to have it. Yeah, it's easy to handle though. Hmm. You have to four four. Yeah, you can. And if you don't, then the whatever consumes it can decide where well, it's not there. Well, it's not this is not an important discussion yeah. to be had. Yeah. Um, no, but it would help to have the discovery. Uh, well, for the right, but, so, but we need to. I, uh, sorry if I'm taking over this discussion, but it yeah. seems to me like we should like activity club doesn't use web finger, so like. Uh, but you know, we, we we may do both still so, in the bridge at least. That's, that's, that's true. Um, but that's totally fine. I can handle that. Uh, so, summary: thirty seconds. 
It remains complicated. <laughs> yep, at best, yep. <laughs> I, AJ? Uh, okay. I, it seems like we have two very concrete pr proposals that came out of this. One is MicroPub to ActivityPub, which is like super simple, mm -hmm. which is phenomenal. Second is the bridge, which will take two modes. One is the completely independent with slightly worse UX, and the second is um, with this little web engine input yep. that will improve the UX. Right. So standalone and hybrid assisted. Yeah. Remind me your name. I think we are Sebastian. Sebastian, right, right, yes. Um, Basically, what you just said. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we also potentially discussed serving, um, having indie websites serve static activity. Uh, yes. Yeah, that is the corollary to what's that's right, activity websites serving like routes. It's like if you follow the discovery ship. Yeah, it's a discovery chain, yeah, right, and that could then point to a branch. Yeah, yeah. so that helps. That that discovery bit, experience. I think, is the only the only part that you need to fudge. After that, you can have the bridge has full control over. Or that's nice to fudge. You if you don't have to, but it's better UX. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We actually have some things figured out for making all this stuff together. Sweet. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah. Actual whiteboard diagram, I love it. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> awake enough. That, I got out the whiteboard because I can't, I'm not awake enough to like hold all the state in my head. Yeah, and, uh, you know? It makes it more accessible to more people. Yeah. Well done. All right. Thanks, I, I think yeah. I'm never awake enough to do such a thing. I will see the whiteboard as externalized source of memory. <laughs> <laughs>